scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. In fact, we should not just jump like that. Lay your hands on your head and in the name of Jesus, cause every negative thinking that has kept you down, that is inconsistent with the word of God, commanded you this is the season where you must live somebody is praying you are laying your hands on your head prophetically and you are declaring my mindset will be derived from the integrity of scripture everything the word of god has said i believe it may not manifest now but it surely will manifest hallelujah please sit down so when church is over if you happen to be trekking down the road and you see people passing suvs and all kinds of beautiful cars don't start insulting people out of anger and say all this mm -mm. just thank him because your mind is also driving are we together when you see a man of god highly anointed that god is using greatly don't just look for excuses to downplay what god is doing because you feel insecure no know that that dimension is also a possibility not just with your spirit alone but your mind when you see a prosperous person don't just get angry because it reminds you of the things you have not done be patient and know that if god did it for so 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 and so he will also do it for me hallelujah praise the name of the lord i've taught you here that the difference between you and anybody you admire the difference between you and anybody you admire is number one the quality of information that that person has access to the quality the first distinguisher of men is the quality of the information primarily spiritual information but then in addition all these other informations the laws number two the relationships that that person has to honor that heightened level of enlightenment because be fruitful also means be relational and then number three the kind and the level of grace that is at work in that person's life this is what separates people into cadence stop looking down on yourself let me preach to you stop looking down on yourself allow the naysayers talk but I want you to believe this is not the first time he's lifting people this is not the first time he's prospering people no this is not the first time he's making a man of God a prophet an apostle an evangelist out of ordinary people he's a master at it this is not the first time he's lifting a nobody to become a phenomenon this is not the first time is what he can do Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? Sila, think about what you just sang. If he created the universe, what is it about your destiny he cannot create? You're not the first to come to Abuja. You're not the first to do ministry. You are not the first to desire heightened levels of exploits it is within his power and in the name of jesus in this season 
by the quality of your mental transformation you are breaking to the left you are breaking to the right to the point that people will come when they hear that you are the one that god has made you steward over that organization and the rest they would doubt it till they see you when did saul become a prophet and you will tell them by the spirit of god he was a prophet many years ago you are only seeing the manifestation there is nothing god has told me that i cannot believe him for i learned this from god's servant bishop david Oyedepo. he said he can believe god for anything for those of you who think you have seen what this ministry has done we are only one step out of the cave you keep watching you will see the wonder walking power of the god of heaven at the risk of sounding arrogant i will say it again watch the wonder walking power the law of mental transformation gentlemen build your house here build a company here build the ministry with the holy spirit here what kind of man of god do you see yourself becoming as revealed to you by the spirit translate that reality here this is the womb of your destiny don't expect delivery when there is no pregnancy when there is no conception this is where the miracle happens the word of god is that seed but let it find a resting place in your mind and then give it time in as you cry you continue and one day your profiting will appear unto all and they who once laughed at you will now come to celebrate you and they will tell you the baby in the manger is now having a triumphant entry into jerusalem you will not always remain a baby in a manger ladies and gentlemen have i wasted your time tonight you can't imagine how much we have let's go to the next law are you learning this now do you know why i'm teaching you this and teaching you again because i want you to gain mastery the series is about gaining mastery so that with a surgeon's precision you can diagnose what is wrong with men around your life and and not if you want to help people spiritually you literally can create a routine from failure to success like a bridge and connect the person for the average person who has been in church for three four five years did you know that if they hand over a new believer to you and they say raise this person and follow that person up most believers don't know what to do at best they'll say are you filled with the holy ghost no go for prayer department meeting on tuesday and discuss the remaining there and most believers are at a loss as to how to mature and mentor and grow and build people and if you are a leader here you need to learn this aside from being a spiritual leader you will be a leader in business in politics you must know how to build people building people there is a skill there is a science to building people mental transformation bring a weak and defeated people like the men of david in the cave of adulam submit them to a visionary leader like david and he will not only change their names he will change their destinies few years later they will be called the mighty men of david the bible says one held a sword and fought standing in one position he killed 800 people and the sword would not leave his hand that's mastery hallelujah one of the blessings of mastery is that the more you become a master at anything fear goes fear is proof that you have not gained hold of certain laws spiritually and physically there are those who drive these heavy duty trucks and you would think because they are driving they should be afraid you will see a tiny man and you hop you know into that truck and you will see him maneuver that truck with mastery and yet you see a learner struggling wondering whether the l in his car or her car has fallen and seeing people just shaking their heads and just passing while he's he's driving and he doesn't even know if he's moving or not law number three the law of value and contribution pay attention was striving for mastery the law of value and contribution 
your relevance in life will always be a reflection your relevance in the eyes of your world will always be a reflection of your value and your contribution nobody will applaud you for doing nothing ladies and gentlemen your relevance as far as living in this cosmos is concerned whether in ministry in business in politics in whatever field of endeavor it will be a measure of your value and your contribution say value please say it again say value say contribution say value say contribution please look up when you are sick who do you need in your life a doctor is that true yeah when you want to build a house you need an architect am i right when you want to solve your security concerns you need a security agent until your life can match a problem and solve it there is no reason why people will consider you necessary in their lives don't downplay the law of value and contribution those in ministry especially most people think they are in ministry and people are placing a demand on them just because they are preaching jesus christ from a spiritual standpoint yes but from a standpoint of success from a standpoint of 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 um, impact and exploits it is because you are making you are making a healthy contribution a man of god is part of the the systems put in place are we together now to help people in matters of faith and you are a contributor to nation building so you are not a nuisance to civilization let me tell you this if nobody is following you and placing a demand upon your life it is a report card to you that your value and your contribution is low or not there every service respectfully speaking I leave this place only on a few times but most times we we stay into the morning because after the service there are still other things you're doing counseling praying and doing some other things and no matter how you want to cut it the demand and the needs of the people is just overwhelming and you know that god has engraced you to solve that problem can i tell you this when all men seek for you it is because there's something you are carrying that has now been revealed look how dr miles describes it so excellently a mango tree does not have a signboard that brings people to it a mango tree does not have a worship team that charges the atmosphere a mango tree does not have ushers all the mango tree does is to begin to produce mangoes and remember when it is budding and doing all of these things people can pass but give it a few months people will stand there in response to the, the quality juicy fruits on that tree human beings who once neglect who once neglected that tree can now climb the tree look how people come early in the morning on a windy day to to pick the mangoes that are on the ground can i tell you there is an explanation to your loneliness i don't mean to play with your emotions but for as long as you believe that people will be indefinitely committed to you without providing any notable value and contribution you are dreaming think again nobody will follow you and invest into your life and destiny indefinitely except and unless at the instance of value ever increasing value and contribution men of god let's listen carefully it will take more than just evangelism to bring people make sure where they are coming to is prepared enough prepared through the quality of sound teaching prepared through the demonstration of the spirit to solve real life problems is someone learning now how many of you know that there were businesses that were in existence 10 years ago and they've been etched out because they did not develop themselves to match the current realities that are in today's world loneliness has an explanation when you are left alone it doesn't mean people hate you is that they are determined to solve their problems and they have learned by experience that you don't intend to be part of that solution 
so they will respectfully create a group and keep you there there are many of you who have maybe restrooms or you know rooms in especially in facilities like this and sometimes they can put a little um, card there out of service out of service means it has potential to be used but right now you cannot use it some of you that's what you have written is all over you as you move around i am out of service i can't contribute anything to your life there are men of god respectfully who are carrying that placard i want to serve jesus but i've not built my value the spiritual content of my value to be able to serve god's people with excellence and precision translating their desires into a christian experience that is fruitful how do you know you are making definite contributions because the demand will continue for as long as you remain valuable ladies and gentlemen have you seen some of you who watch not joe wild the, the 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 national geographic channel you find out that sometimes they show all of these videos of you know the animal kingdom and they come to the riverside to take water once they are full sometimes they ignore the river and the river never moves to look for them the river is confident enough to know that sooner or later they will come back man of god who told you there are too many men of god in nigeria you are just not anointed enough you've not just sat down to build capacity enough not from a competitive standpoint you have not branded your impact with such value and contribution can i tell you when you become valuable those who need you will find you man of god who told you or i said man of god businessman who told you there are enough malls in abuja oh abuja people they are when i hear people say there are too many people doing this i say no in every industry there are those who are at the highest levels are we together yeah last time i checked there are about 3.6 people i'm sure a lot more than that in abuja for instance let's use our city every one of these people at least even if they are fasting they still break can i tell you this your value must be able to match the level of hunger and thirst that people have you are not at liberty to just create any kind of value refined or not uh -uh. your value must be refined if you are a man of god it's time to go back and stay with the holy spirit don't just rush and say i have what to offer you preach two weeks and you don't have anything to say again the people may not fight you but they the demons attacking them are real the confusion in their lives is not a, they are not they are not faking these things they will leave you and look for genuine solutions are, are you getting what i'm saying now this is very powerful do you know that there are there are businesses in this in this nation look at banks for instance because of the role that they play in helping the economy of territories it does not matter what location they establish the bank you will always find people there because there is money inside respectfully i would always give this story of um answers i'm, I'm now not, not not to stir up i'm a preacher but then let me just during the answers you know people were sadly it's not it's not what i will encourage but people were you know jumping and boggling um storehouses do you know that there was no storehouse that said i am here there is rice inside me how people invented the skill to discern this discernment that looks very hard during that answers people found out and we didn't see where the ladder was but there were people at the top because some of the storehouses were hidden in places that you should not suspect that there's anything there bike men were following both sides of the roads carrying people and they were laughing people were helping one another even those who never knew themselves now let me ask you a question hold on imagine that your life becomes like that warehouse let me tell you they will find you anywhere you are 
don't tell me it's because i'm in lube don't tell me it's because i'm in another city no when your value is high carry genuine anointing and see what god does genuine grace to teach and build people doesn't matter whether you're in america when it has to do with spiritual things they sustain equal value everywhere apostle how can i know that people will come to my store show me what you are doing there do you not know that excellence is a language there are those who know how to speak it if i speak yoruba now and i ask you to stand in yoruba those of you who are yoruba people will stand those who are not yoruba people will be at a loss excellence is a language there are people who know how to speak it competence is a language there are people who know how to speak it skill is a language the law of value and contribution am i wasting your time tonight listen i deliver you by the spirit of god from a local champion mentality at least i am better than this one at least i am better than this one no your clientele is the whole world you are serving the power and the grace of god if you are a prophet don't sit down and be a prophet where they will suspect you and even those sent to hold your hand are afraid of you because of how number one you have not even gotten it clear you've not done your homework you are a man of god god grants you grace to be a revelator of scripture stay with scripture don't just say as the spirit leads submit yourself to to doctrine learn doctrine we must fight incompetence skill and contribution is the cure to this life of lack and whatever it is can i tell you when you become an active contributor to the lives and the destinies of people i give you this as a guarantee they will forgive many many limitations in your life to pursue the value that you have those days when we started there was only audio those of you who have followed the ministry for a long time god gave an instruction we didn't put any video except videos that were except videos that were maybe external ministrations and people would sit down and listen to the videos and sometimes they would listen to the, the sound quality you know may not be the best and yet they will enjoy it because of the value that they know they would find there it was bishop david oedeko who's who who said that when they started in kaduna people were not coming and after praying and doing all of these things god gave him a few things and among the many things god told him is that when you bring quality life applicable teachings people will come and they will stay like a grass like the when animals come when they find a pasture they stay and learn i'm just using ministry as an example but it applies to every area you're a music minister don't sing as your relatives will clap for you no matter how you sound because they love you but you must be disciplined to tell yourself if i desire to sing his praises to the nations then i must be competent can i tell you this when you are pressing for competence don't let your tears deceive you you may cry but continue hmm. value and contribution i made up my mind that for as long as i live I will never stand before God's people to waste their time teaching nonsense and just wasting the precious time of God's people hear me some of you the reason why you've not been promoted take away all kinds of biases you say I've been there three years you've been there three years but you have not shown your superiors that you have built value enough for your promotion to be worthwhile A lot of Christians, yes, I know that there might be biases of religion and culture and all of that. But let me tell you sincerely, if you want to strive for mastery, please obtain grace from God to be valuable. Obtain grace from God to be valuable. Obtain grace from God to be a contributor to the lives and the destinies of people. Man of God, by the time God uses you to bring order to the life of a confused person salvation to an unsaved person transformation to an ignorant believer empowerment to a transformed believer and you release the people like the foxes of samson it is impossible for you to stand and remain lonely not in the face of value i once had a vision many years ago 
and in that vision i think i've shared it here maybe once at least i was there was a long queue of people and i was serving them bread and the bread the bread was filled with honey it was the honey was even dripping and i was not the one making the bread i was just receiving it from a machine and the machine never stopped making the bread the bread will come out with honey and somebody will taste of it and run and go and call his relatives and say come they are sharing something here and people will, some of the people who took it will go back and join the queue and for some reason they were looking at me they couldn't see the machine that was producing the bread and honey it was mixing it already i was just receiving it and giving them when i woke up i said i found the key i found the key it will work in abuja it will work in london it will work in us it will work at the caribbeans provided it is a platform for value it will work let me prophesy to you that in the name of jesus where you have been neglected because of your inability to have structured your life to provide value in the name of jesus men will look for you kings will look for you nobles will look for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please sit down jesus had the boldness jesus the humble jesus the meek and lowly had the audacity to make a very daring statement here's what he said i am the way i am that valuable he said i am the truth and he said i am the life then he went further to say no man come to the father except by me you want to route the father use every other method you will see come back here joseph said let the king look for a man who is discreet and wise it was a polite way of saying king i dare you where were all the people when i was in the prison search round and see if you will find them can i tell you this when god wants to lift you bar he energizes you to work on your value and contribution and when he sees that you have done your assignment that finger will lift you in a way that nobody will be able to come within that vicinity that's how god honors men and that's what god is doing for someone when it was time for god to lift joseph he shot the heavens over the sorcerers and it was now Joseph's time to arise and shine. Please fight incompetence and do not just be a receiver, receiver, receiver. When I talk of being valuable, I'm not just talking of doing things. You can be valuable by being a blessing. Whether through words, whether through actions, whether through whatever it is. Those days when I used to take, you know, um, then it was not Uber, um, it was not Bolt, you know, you can just take a cab, just call it cab. There was a particular driver, that man was so neat. He used to drive me to the airport. I would save his number and call him. If he told me he was busy, I would tell him, please, just release whoever, I will pay you double for that amount. He was so neat. Very excellent driver, careful cautious trustworthy you could send him to go and pick someone for you now there were many drivers but i just loved and 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 we had meaningful discussions on our way to the to the airport when he found out i was a man of god true story the next time i came i noticed he was playing um i think it was don Muen or something he had gone to get a, a cd or something like at least his own contribution Can I tell you this? Don't be angry and say people don't love me. Ask yourself, what am I bringing to the table? The table of greatness has many seats. But the rule is you don't sit down with an empty hand. You first submit what you are bringing. It is vetted by the intelligence of God. If it will serve and bless people sufficiently with honor, you are granted a seat there. Otherwise, you will be driven back to go and work on yourself. Can I tell you? I am sorry, but I have to tell you this. There are many believers who will still inherit shame in the days to come. Do you know why? Because many people keep claiming realms that they have not built value that can bring them into it with nobility and honor. 
I will get there colorful and it's bright and they keep dancing and life says show me the value and the contribution that you have I made up my mind that in every area of my life where the Lord would have me serve whether in ministry in leadership corporate life whatever it is I would be valuable and competent that I will never stand before anybody across the globe and not be able to contribute something to their lives if I cannot contribute intellectually most likely if the person is not born again there are demons Even if you are free from demons, most likely you may not be very serious with the Holy Spirit. I'm still there again. You know what it means to be Alpha and Omega? Go and find out the implication of that name. You cannot do without me. You can run away from me, but you will meet a need that will still bring you back to me. Hallelujah. Listen, I want you to make a covenant with your destiny tonight. That in the name of Jesus Christ... I will stop being the one who just claps for people with jealousy and shame. I'm ready to go and sit down. For some of you, you are complaining and say, people don't like me. Forget all those things. Try, stop trying to live a fake life, get in a house that your value cannot maintain. Go back with nobility from where you are. Start building yourself. Buy books after service. Buy teachings. Go online. Instead of browsing around, finding it out what is happening in people's lives who don't know you, settle down and get materials. Man of God, don't just move around telling people I'm a man of God, invite me. Go and sit down. Lord, what is the secret of fire? What is the secret to an excelling life? What is the secret to teaching with precision? How do I understand scripture? Number four, I've not taught this in this house because there is a separate series. My goodness, you will not want to miss that series. We're going to be dealing with a serious issue in the body of Christ. But it's, a, it's one of the laws of, of dominion that will help you if you want to strive for mastery. The law of authority. The law of authority. There is a separate series that is coming there. But this is very powerful most people do not realize that you succeed in life to the degree you are as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends you you are as powerful as your relationship with the authority that sends you most people do not understand that authority plays a vital role in dominion and commanding mastery hallelujah in james chapter 4 and verse 7 apostle james was teaching us the power of authority and here's what he said submit yourselves therefore to god that is the first key recognize that there is an authority from when you derive your your own power and then with that consciousness resist the devil and he says he will flee most people just go into resisting the devil and they do not understand that the level of your submission to authority dr mike mudok will say authority seeks to provide three things in the life of any individual number one provision number two protection number three promotion the assignment of authority in the life of a believer number one provision number two protection number three promotion the law of authority long reading matthew chapter 8 i believe let me check it here matthew chapter 8 when you read from verse 5 to 13 jesus it was a story of the centurion the Bible says he saw a centurion, verse 6. Let's hurry up so that we can pray. The centurion came to him and said, My servant lieth at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. 7. Jesus said unto him, I will come. I will respect your office and come and heal him. Let's see what happened. Verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only 
and my servant shall be healed what was the basis of his understanding for i am a man help me under authority stop there i am a man there is something i know about the power of authority that you are as powerful as the authority that backs you can i tell you when god sent moses moses said uh -uh, it will take more than skill to bring deliverance who shall i tell pharaoh has sent me daniel chapter 11 and verse 32 b here's what the bible says but the people that do know their god the government that has sent them they shall be strong and shall do exploits can i tell you this life and destiny must ask you this one question who sent you in preparing my notes for this discussion tonight i just thought about how many jobs we have in nigeria and how that there are some jobs because of the sensitive nature of the jobs they will demand that before they consider you you have to bring a reference letter am i right on that you bring a reference letter from a very noble personality they believe that no one would just take his reputation on you for nothing they would ask you questions so they will say bring a letter from a senator a president whatever a director or somebody a civil servant at a particular great level can i tell you this it is dangerous to try to explore this realm of greatness alone the authority that backs you both physically and spiritually matters a dear man of god in this nation when he was moving to go and start ministry he went to meet another senior man of god a father of faith in this nation and he said what one advice would you give me as i'm going now and according to him the man of god spoke to him in yoruba and he said here is my advice never fight alone you will be defeated you are as powerful as the authority that sends you look at me ladies and gentlemen are you conscious of the authority that you are under what gives us the audacity to gather people like this week in week out we had a a powerful time in zaria over the weekend you know wonderful time of teaching miracle service and it was such a phenomenal time what gives this audacity the authority when jesus walked upon the earth notice jesus never called himself father go and read your bible jesus never they called him father they attested to the fact that he was one with he said i am the father i am one but he never called himself father for as long as he was on earth he acknowledged that there was abba one above him the law of authority many believers are not able to succeed because they do not understand the power of authority can i tell you I hate to be a bearer of bad news but let me tell you if you just depend on the quality of your spiritual life alone to advance you your pace may be slow there are times you would need to outsource the uh, the covenant advantage that comes with authority and make tremendous progress in your life while you grow authority is powerful when god calls men as individuals when god calls ministries there are covenants that he has with them that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen and you can tap into that covenant there are ministries that carry the covenant of wealth and prosperity you will see people come to that ministry even before they know anything about finances they start prospering because of honor to authority there are ministries that are prophetic for instance you would see a businessman would come into the ministry looking for business solution but in addition to that solution they will also carry that grace because it's an advantage every ministry and every genuine servant of god in fact it extends to every leader that god calls please hear me there are covenants and these covenants can become a platform now it can be idolized unfortunately we were suffering that now in africa but within the boundary of scripture if you understand the advantage that authority provides your life will be a sign and a wonder when it was time 
for David to go and fight Goliath. Read your Bible. When Saul heard about him, he looked at him. There were certain questions that Saul asked. Among them, whose son are you? What tribe are you? Not, not who trained you in the wilderness. I want to know what covenant you are going to that battleground with. When he stood before Goliath, Goliath had their own gods that they worshipped, even as a warrior. But David came and announced the basis of his victory. He says, you come to me with your spheres and your bows, but I come to you in the name, the name of the God of heaven, whom you have, the God of Israel, whom you have defied. Can I tell you this? There are times your skill can fail, but the, the covenant of the authority you are under can speak to you and speak for you. It is true. The law of authority. Let's go to the next one. I'm just discussing all the laws or some of the many laws of the spirit that you must be able to know and study in depth if it is mastery that you want to gain. Next, the law of faith. I've done an extensive teaching on this. John 11 and verse 40. I tell you, someone's life is changing this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. John 11, 40. Jesus saith to her, saith I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? So there is a relationship between believing God and seeing his glory. I have taught extensively on faith here, Mark 11, 22 to 24. Jesus himself is teaching us a lesson on faith. And he says, have faith in God. Papa Hagen will say, have the faith of God. 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. The Bible says he shall have whatsoever he saith. 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. Say faith. One more time, say faith. A combination of your conviction and your persuasion about God alongside your obedience your obedience faith in one word is obedience obedience to the scriptural demands that commit God over the affairs of your life not just obedience to anything obedience to the scriptural demands for everything you want God to do in your life there are scriptural demands faith becomes a definition the name given to your complying with the scriptural demands that commit God apostle I want to prosper there is a scriptural demand your assignment is to obtain grace to walk in keeping with that demand apostle I want to excel in life there is a scriptural demand please look up four times in scripture like you have learned here the Bible says the just shall live by faith there are no guarantees in life precious people of God nobody will give you a guarantee anywhere your guarantee is your faith this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith man of God nobody is going to give you a guarantee that the next 10 20 years you will still be relevant in ministry nobody will give you a guarantee that you will still be alive by next week nobody will give you a guarantee that you will still be at the cutting edge of revival and the program of god it takes faith your conviction but i know whom i have believed the bible says and i am persuaded that he is able if i ask you what makes you believe that 2022 will still be a victorious year for you don't tell me my uncle just became a senator that's not a very accurate answer your faith I believe that Jesus Christ is still alive and for as long as he's alive for as long as his word remains true then I remain victorious someone shout and say I'm victorious let the devil hear you I am victorious ready for the next I hope you understand what I'm giving you now the law of relationships 
this is the next the law of relationships goodness the law of relationships i'm just touching on it remember i taught you on this that relationships matter in your life we're gaining mastery so that if somebody tells you things are not working in my life in your mind if you want to help that person you don't just say let's pray you can know what is wrong apostle i'm a great man but there's nobody somewhere to hear me you know that this person is lacking of relationships relationships are very powerful i taught you from genesis 12 and genesis 13 remember the story of abraham and lot the bible says god called abraham he called him alone and all his servants then the bible says and lot went with him by the time we get to chapter 13 we see that everything abraham had lot also had to the point that you will not even know who god called and who followed again and then lot made a mistake a costly mistake he separated himself from abraham i've taught you in this house that there are three levels and three kinds of relationships there are general relationships to be friendly and to be nice and kind and warm to everybody around you regardless who regardless status number two there are seasonal relationships and that the key to receiving from seasonal relationships is discernment because those relationships are not there forever you have to discern them and maximize the moment while they are there and then number three there are covenant or destiny relationships these are relationships you must protect at all costs because a part of your success and your results is connected to it the moment lot separated himself from abraham the next thing we find is a gradual decline until he found himself in the middle of sodom it still took abraham to negotiate for him and still send angels to come and help him and rescue him and then abraham many times he helped that his cousin called lot prodigal son he was successful only because he was in relationship with his father the moment he cut away from that relationship lack and want started until he found himself with peaks how about the believer we only excel based on our relationship with jesus and then our relationship with his spirit the basis for our excelling in life is the Spirit of God. Relationships are powerful. There are laws to relationships. One of it is friendliness. I've taught you this. Forbearance. All men are men. The best of any man is still a man. The person you like the most who annoy you one day is not new. Learn it. You have to factor it. I taught you that one of the major things you need to maintain relationships is forgiveness and forbearance forgiveness means to pardon a default forbearance means to create an accommodation for that lapse because it will happen again can I tell you some of the people God will use to lift and help you most in life some of them may sustain things in your life you want to drive them for but let me tell you sincerely if you can understand how relationships work you will protect certain relationships until they deliver to you the prophecy attached to them for instance maybe you're a man of god maybe there is a man of god anointed and assigned to help you but you don't like the man because of the way he speaks or because of temper or because of other limitations your ability to endure those limitations will make way for you to receive of the grace that is in that person everybody say relationships you are a relationship away to the next level of your life i've taught you extensively on this and that includes even the ministry of destiny helpers remember divine connectors men of influence gifted people burden bearers listen i want you to go back i gave you an assignment that time i know many of you didn't do it god is giving you another chance go and write a list of some of the most valuable relationships in your life and begin to invest in them consciously the top 10 relationships in your life that reflect um the it, it's like those relationships are a gateway you can't put everybody in your life in the same category and invest the same level of time energy and effort that is not wise it has nothing to do with hating or loving 
there are relationships that are priceless in your life and if and when you find those relationships throw away your ego and don't be ashamed to invest your time and energy because the returns from those relationships will translate into an excelling life hallelujah are we together there are sacrifices that i've made in my life even in ministry there are places i've gone to minister it was not part of the original schedule but the sacrifice of maintaining relationships maybe with the fathers and the people there i've had to bend over backwards sometimes even to the detriment of my health it was a, 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 a it may not have been the best sacrifice but can i tell you the truth i know that the excellency of the the kind of the kind of relationship that will be built from that sacrifice will be worth the while there are many of you there is nobody who is special in your life nobody is worth your commitment there is nobody who can make you wake up in the night to answer their call or pray for them you believe you are a disciplinarian i sleep by 12 midnight and not even jesus christ wakes me if you continue like that you will not go far can i tell you when it has to do with the world of men there are positive compromises yes sir yes sir i left you with a thought when we discussed on relationship let me bring it to you again is there anyone in your life today who sees you to be so valuable and useful to them that if you call for help of any sort if it is within their power they will stand up without question and come to you if you don't have at least one of such kind of person in your life i assure you by god you are sitting on a time bomb no matter how anointed no matter how enlightened in this world who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters is there somebody who can cry with you when you are crying not that you beg the person to cry with you he came on his own volition to say i love you too much your pain is my pain great leaders will tell you that part of the things that make them excel is that they may not have money but they have the wealth of men genuine and sincere men i'll tell you a little story now i'm sure he's going to be embarrassed about um pastor here I remember one time I was going to go and preach and it was a huge sacrifice I was to stop by at Enugu just do two three hours or so preach and then head to connect with another conference in Port Harcourt. it was so inconveniencing but then I needed to push through because of the honor that I had for that man of God and that father of faith and when I remember when I got in I was you know so exhausted and uh, please don't, don't feel embarrassed this dear man you see when i tell you he's a good man he really is a good man put together his team it was even his team that went and picked me from the airport i just went to rest a bit and as i was preaching he came for the program when i finished this man was with me all around this is for those of you who know house on the rock very well respectfully speaking this is one of the men who has raised many of the leaders in house on the rock profound humility hallelujah i was so humbled and broken that day i didn't know how to tell him pastor please your boys are here you go back and he escorted me right to the base of the aircraft to leave can i tell you this i have learned by experience not everybody thinks you are a big deal so when you find people who think you are that important don't trivialize them because it is not everybody who thinks you are that special or deserving of honor that much let me give you a kind advice when you find people in your life who are sincerely interested in your life and your well-being and love you sincerely with no strings attached let me tell you don't be ashamed to invest in those relationships are we learning there are some people who may not have money to give you man of God but you can be sure that every time you cry they are there how do you throw such people out of your life when Jesus Christ was on his way to go and die I taught you during Easter why was the woman with the issue of blood who cried 
where was the man at the the entrance of jericho the blind man you thought all these people haven't received from jesus are you learning that it's not enough to be valuable as powerful as it was jesus gave them value but now when he was headed for the cross they all left him but there was a stranger who supposedly appeared from nowhere simon of cyrene he said i will not let you cry i cannot die for the world but i can help the one who can die back then in zaria i don't watch a lot of movies unfortunately i don't have the time but i did a teaching in in zaria then i remember and i love this movie called lord of the rings i think it seems to be one of my best movies simply because um i, I just love anything that shows the laws of life in place right and there was a gentleman the ring bearer the there was you won't believe that all my love for that film is because of one scene so don't think i've never been able to watch it from start to finish so don't even think that i know what i'm saying <laughs> praise god are we together but the one scene that the ring bearer was on his way to go and do his due diligence based on prophecy and he had this faithful friend and the friend made one statement called sam the friend said i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you ah when i saw that one i said this is it this is a revelation that is scriptural question please look up there are burdens that you have in your life dear leader dear man of god are there people who can carry you while you carry that burden what betides a man who is left alone carrying the burden of your vision with people who are in your life just to pray on your gifts and go back they pray on your revelation pray on your anointing and once they have everything question are there people in your life who if you don't provide any value for they will still stay because they will tell you i'm not here for it i am here for you May God make you such a person. Amen. Then may God bring such people to your life. Amen. The law of relationships. My life has changed because of relationships. God has helped me in ministry because of relationships. Every facet of my life has received an upward turn because of relationships. I remind you again, be fruitful means be relational there is no fruitfulness without relationships no matter what you have and what you are you need relationships you must obtain grace from god to learn relationships apostle all i need in my life is just god you are right but in the cosmos you are wrong hallelujah relationships let me give you a few more and we wrap up. Are you learning something tonight? The next law that will help you walk in dominion and will help you produce mastery in your life is the law of honor. Mm. This is a jackpot. I can spend one week teaching on this. I understand it. Believe me. I'm just touching these things. I'm not going into in-depth detail. I've done teachings on them. The law of honor. Very powerful spiritual principle. Honor being the discerning, the celebrating, and even the rewarding of men because of their value and their uniqueness. The law of honor is powerful. Let me submit to you that honor can open sometimes more doors for you even than your skill. There are only three reasons why, one reason really, separated into three dimensions, why people fail in life. Only one reason. Dishonor. Dishonor to God. Dishonor to men. Dishonor to principles. That is the only reason why people fail. Dishonor to God. Dishonor to men. Dishonor to principles. I've taught you here in Koinonia, that honor is the key for access 
every time a door closes over you it was dishonor that closed that door especially if it was once opened any door i assure you by god that once opened over your life and is now closed dishonor closed it business doors especially doors of help and support there are many men of god who may never be allowed to minister in certain circles again because even though they were anointed and gifted dishonor shut that door towards them many of you at one point or the other you've had unusual access into the lives of people especially great and noble people spiritually politically and otherwise but dishonor close that door what is dishonor the trivializing the demeaning the downplaying of people's achievements people's uniqueness and people's value when you trivialize when you demean when you downplay people there are severe life-threatening consequences i've taught you to practice honor honor is a powerful spiritual principle that will help you will lift you will bless you i am a beneficiary of the law of honor there are circles that ordinarily outside of the grace of god upon my life i should never be in those circles or enjoy those privileges not at this level of my life moving at the natural human pace but honor is an accelerator it can fast track your destiny honor can bring you into the achievement of your 10 years later now is someone learning don't live a life and say it's only god that i know and dishonor everybody no there are people in this abuja there are people in this nation it is within their power to lift and bless and help but all the people around them who are in need of that help have perpetually communicated dishonor to the point that there are even parents that will they, are, they wrote their will to house helps and other people, not their biological children, because of the level of dishonor. Please say in the name of Jesus, I obtain grace to practice honor. Honor is powerful. There are people who never greet anyone. Once the person is not rich or wealthy, you don't greet them. Mm -hmm, let me look for the rich people. That's parasitism, not honor. If it is genuine honor it must be for all men because you see the person who is already made you've seen their end but the person who is rising you don't know how far they will rise some of you after this service you may need to call your loved ones or call people around who have perceived that you have communicated this honor perpetually and let them know that you love them and you honor them there are men of God who will come and mount another man of God's pulpit and rubbish the ministry, rubbish what they are doing, downplay the work of the man and share the grace. If you are that man of God, will you invite any other person like that to come on your pulpit? It is because of this fear of dishonor sometimes that men of God seem overprotective with their pulpit. Because they love the sheep so much, they don't want to bring people who sell a narrative that dishonor is marketable practice honor honor children honor your subordinates honor your contemporaries honor your superiors honor all men honor kings and you will watch your life keep shining shining as a man of god you see for those in ministry let me tell you preaching is not the only thing that makes ministry ministry oh. being anointed is not even the only thing that makes ministry ministry wait for part three Part three is the power of systems and structures. I'm going to be sharing with you something powerful when we get to part three. The power of systems and structures. You cannot gain mastery if you do not understand systems and structures. Tonight we're just dealing with the laws that make for dominion. The law of honor. Two more and then we'll pray. The law of favor is the next one. You know this <laughs> the law of favor 
1 Samuel 16, 20 to 22. 1 Samuel 16, 20 to 22. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid and sent them by David his son to Saul. We're reading to 22, 21. And David came to Saul and stood before him and he loved him greatly and he became his armor bearer. Last verse, 22. And Saul sent to Jesse saying, let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he had found favor in my sight. Favor is the number one reason people prosper. I recommend to you my teaching this grace called favor. Listen to it. Listen to it again and again. I, I honestly submit to you, dear people of God, I don't know how people survive without the favor of God. You will never be able to rise in today's world without favor. What is favor? When God anoints people to participate in your success, when they provide the leverage of their credibility, their resources to help you rise. Listen to my teachings on favor. Believers, your life will be difficult and hard if you do not find favor. And as it is, you've heard me lovingly correct, just add this as a correction for as many who would care to know. There are many people who have taught that favor is unmerited access. That may be right, but not entirely right. Favor is very merited. There are dimensions of favor. The saving grace is what is unmerited. But believe me, favor is merited. You can initiate favor. Favor is a reaction. There is something you can do that will equal to favor. Proverbs 13, 15. The Bible says, good understanding procureth favor. But the way of the transgressor is hard. Hardship has an explanation. There are many men of God who love Jesus with all their hearts. Anointed and preachers of righteousness. But this favor factor, most do not have. There are families that do not have it. Some of you, you are seated here. The limitation, there are books within your spirit. There are visions that you have had. But to get to the nations, there's no favor. I will always tell people, it's easy to look at the Joshua Selmans and those who God has seemed to, by his mercy and grace, bring to the limelight and believe that these are the faces. There are many people even greater than us. But simply because they've not tapped into the other dimensions of the kingdom that gives them that visibility. Favor is powerful. Ask me. Favor is powerful. I've told you that who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. Minis li listen, listen. Ministers of the gospel, I assure you by God and with every sense of respect and regard, you're not going to run ministry just based on tithes and offerings. I assure you by God. One day you will collapse. Any man of God who wants to walk in integrity knows I'm not lying. Except you want to manipulate God's people. But if you want to do ministry with the dignity of kingdom integrity, you will need favor. You will need favor. I believe in the favor of God. I thank God that I learned it. I continue to learn the laws of favor in addition to my loving Jesus and pressing into the things of the spirit serving the nations with this grace for revival and power I know that I need the favor of God everybody say favor please in one minute as we prepare to take the last one just lay your hands on your head again and say father let favor begin to work for me pray from your heart Believe me, you need it. Man of God, you may be watching online. You need it. Businessman, you need it. There are families here. It is this favor factor that you have not seen in your life. Spiritually, you are doing well. God has helped you and shown you mercy. But you need favor. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me give you the last one and then we'll wrap up for tonight. The last law. Is the law of spiritual empowerment 
the law of spiritual empowerment i've given you about nine these are the laws that you engage if you want to gain mastery and dominion in life we started by discussing in part one and even today that life and living is spiritual that means you need more than intellectual empowerment you need an empowerment from heaven jesus himself he said the spirit of the lord the messianic prophecy it was for him in luke chapter 4 when he came he began to reiterate that same statement the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed ordained empowered me to preach the gospel to the poor sent me to heal the brokenhearted all of these things happen based on empowerment can i tell you there are certain things that cannot be done by the strength of the flesh it will take supernatural empowerment and i've done teachings on this believers some of you have not opened up your heart for empowerment because you have been taught that empowerment is for men of god those in ministry apostles prophets those who will heal the sick those who will deal with demons and since i am dealing with files or i am dealing with politics i don't need empowerment no sir you do you do you do you need empowerment it takes empowerment to rise it takes empowerment to ward off the forces of darkness that come to fight the purposes of god in your life man of god it takes empowerment to allow that which god has given you go to the nations unhindered i believe in spiritual empowerment i have taught it all the days of my ministerial life this is what i represent among many other things to the body of christ the possibility that men can be empowered and that their lives can become an unending unending manifestation of the power of god i have seen what the anointing can do i have seen what the power of god can do you are truly a blessing when you are empowered You came here tonight desiring to learn, desiring to grow. You came here tonight for someone because you've been asking questions in your life. Lord, I love you and I desire to know you. But is there a way I can have a consolation to my Christian experience? For someone, you came here tonight wondering, why do I enjoy victory and yet my victory is short-lived? why do i enjoy results and then as soon as i'm celebrating i go back again you are in need of mastery your results are random you need to get to a point where you begin to walk in an uncanny level of mastery he says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except and unless he strives lawfully the law the sacrifice of total surrender the law of mental transformation the law of value and contribution the law of authority and submission the law of faith the law of relationships the law of honor the law of favor the law of spiritual empowerment there may be a few other laws that i'll be teaching you but i give you a guarantee hold these laws like like keys and you can move through life opening door after door layer of success and victory after another this is what god desires for us to do and remember i have told you that your results matter for the kingdom because it is in your excelling that the name of the lord is glorified and god wants every one of us to excel is someone ready to pray tonight you're going to pray and ask the lord for grace lord i am tired of shadow boxing my christian experience i'm tired of i'm tired of guessing trial and error now i've been born again say for 10 20 years but i i have not been able to put together the spiritual principles that help me reveal and glorify you now you have taught me i obtain grace someone pray lift your voice in one minute and pray for just a minute or two please make sure you focus on jesus and pray of all these spiritual principles and these laws that i've taught you you know the ones that are not yet at work in your life obtain grace from god 
for some of you you are you are neglecting the law of relationships for some of you you have not accessed the favor of god for some of you dishonor has closed doors for you for some of you you have not even laid down everything there is no surrender in your life for some of you value and contribution you have entertained mediocrity in your life in ministry in business in career it's time to come up hither someone is praying one more minute are you crying to god it's time oh god to blow me like a chauffeur to the nations prepare me i strive for mastery hallelujah listen one of the advantages of being a master or striving for mastery is that you redeem time every time you fail an exam they either dismiss you from that system or you recycle time again is that true sometimes that time can be as much as one year lack of mastery will make a journey of 40 days to become 40 years someone is praying one last prayer father let my mastery of these spiritual laws bring efficiency to my spiritual life go ahead and pray in that which you have called me to do those who have gone ahead of us have shown us that these are the keys in the name of jesus christ let me pray for you as we wrap up tonight's service father i thank you for the privilege again that you have granted unto us to bring your word many within this place and so many more following and connecting from their homes you have spoken to us tonight on these spiritual laws these are the laws that help men to gain mastery in life and destiny i pray in the name of jesus that for every one person here who is yet to gain and lay hold of these spiritual principles the grace to do so is released upon you in the name of jesus i pray for the diligence to understand and master these laws and that as you engage them your life will be nothing short of a sign and a wonder where you have been down may these laws lift you up in the name of jesus and where you have not been able to bear much fruit that brings glory to the name of the lord may these laws accelerate your results in the name of jesus can i tell you this please look up for many of you i submit to you and i'm saying this primarily to the house here but it extends to as many who will be interested if i were you i would shut down on many many nonsense i'm trying to learn as far as becoming successful is concerned and deal with these things first pick them one by one for some of you god has brought acceleration he has reduced your shadow boxing of 10 20 years go back and look at them i've been trying to make ministry work i've been trying to make my destiny work ah this is it holy spirit open my eyes the more all of these laws i've taught them in details listen to them one by one and learn them and you will come and stand here week after week testifying to the point that you will even think will be angry with you because your face is too frequent because there will be no week without a notable testimony in the name of jesus christ lift your hands and give him thanks for tonight's service hallelujah part three we're going to discuss i'll be teaching you next week please don't miss it the power of systems and structures 
striving for mastery part three will be the power of systems and structures many of you will be learning something that will transform your life forever please keep standing let me quickly make the altar call and then we wrap up we will never fail to make an altar call here for as long as God grants us the privilege to gather may I play with us to please minimize movement just for a minute and we'll be done I know that most people may try to rush so that they get vehicles and the rest just be patient let's honor all who need to make a decision every time God gathers us like this it is because there is someone who comes in the midst of God's people who needs Jesus and I believe tonight is no different there's someone you are here you are saying apostle I need Jesus in my life and for another you are saying apostle I remember giving my heart to Jesus but I need restoration if you belong to any of these categories inside all the overflows outside may I request that you come and stand here very quickly we have just one minute for you please boldly leave your seat and come God bless you let's celebrate them as they come I have decided to follow Jesus keep coming I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turn please if you're joining them hurry up hurry up so that we pray for you we love you Jesus brought you here to give you a new beginning come come apostle I'm not sure if I'm saved can I join them absolutely you're most welcome there is something called the assurance of salvation you can know that you know that if the trumpet sounds today for you it will be that your decision has given you the authorization to be with Jesus even forever God bless you thank you so much for those of you who are in front and then all the overflows and for those who are following uh, by way of television you can make this decision right now right where you are Jesus is with you please may I request those in front can you lift your right hand high above your head and say this prayer after me let it be from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus as my Savior I receive Jesus as my Lord I receive Jesus as my King the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God saved amen let me pray for you father thank you for these precious people the Bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away they have come because they believe in you by the authority of Scripture I declare your sins forgiven and I pray that my God gives you a new beginning from tonight the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over your life you walk in newness of life and you walk in righteousness you go from glory to glory and from grace to grace for in Jesus name I pray amen and amen God bless you please may I request just for a moment that you move to my right which is your left there will be a few counselors who will just have a word with you very briefly and then you'll be back to your seat god bless you darling thank you hallelujah let's celebrate them as they go thank you hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. 
be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you